Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. In this video, we're going to be making some playful, fun text reveals that's suitable for like a movie trailer or even some kinetic or motion typography. So one, one place I like to look for um, motion graphic styles is in in trailers. Uh, there seems to be a lot of fun um, type treatments in there and I was watching a trailer uh, this one right here it's called The Intern it's with Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro and it had kind of a fun way of revealing the text. So I thought that was kind of fun and it's not too difficult to create and it's really just text and masks. So let's just create this really quickly. I'm going to create a new composition call it text reveal and Let's first bring in a background solid, give it a name, BG works for background. And then to this, let's add um, generate gradient ramp, set it to radial, swap the colors, and then put one in the center. And basically, we just want to have a nice kind of a soft uh, gradient ramp like that. Now let's bring in the text. I'm using Helvetica and just really whatever you want. And we're going to have four different text boxes. Okay. So I want to kind of even these out. So I'm going to highlight them all. I've got my align window open. If you don't have that open, go up to window and right there, align. And I want to distribute the layers. I'm going to space them um, with the top. And then what that does, here, let me just show you. If I were to take this top layer and bring it like that, highlight them all and then hit that button you see how it it distributes them evenly in between um, all the layers so I'm gonna kinda space these out a little bit and make sure they're even okay so at this point we need to change these colors so this layer and this layer is not black text but it's white text so I'm just gonna change that to be white and then let's bring in a new solid so command Y and this is going to be our black solid and you want this to be at the bottom I'm gonna go ahead and bring the opacity down so I can see where everything is at and I need to add to this a bunch of masks so select the black layer have your rectangle tool and we're gonna add to this masks so there's mask one and I want it just to be on the left side mask two on the top and you can position it before you uh, my finger is still clicked down on the mouse and you can if you hold down the space bar you can move it around you let go of the space bar it changes the size of the mask hold down the space bar and so then you can kind of get it where you want to and then you let go of the click and it goes where it needs to but I need to zoom in really close on this because I want these to be right on the same so I'm gonna come down to the mask to hit the mask path and I gotta make sure that that is right on the same line. So I'm gonna zoom in really close. And that's really the only one I need to do that with. Now let's take that mask that I already have lined up. I'm gonna duplicate it and then hit Command T and then I can move it down. And cover up the rest of that. And now we just need two more masks. So grab the mask tool again, and this one is going to be right over some text here, and the next one will be over the and, just like that. So it ends up being five masks, so let's label these so it's easier. Okay, so in order to animate these, highlight the mask path, and again, then hit Command or Control T, and it gives in this free transform. I'm going to keyframe the mask path, go forward a few frames, bring up that transform, and then just grab the bottom and bring it up. That's as simple as that. And then we go to the top, keyframe the mask path, go forward about five frames, hit Command T, and bring this one in. Now this one is gonna be a little bit tricky because it's not going to disappear completely. But what we can do, if we go back one frame, click the expansion, go forward two frames, and then bring the expansion into the negative numbers, then that will 
disappear. Now, you can see that that is sticking over a little bit. So before I get too far, I want to make sure that I have that taken care of. Okay. There's the top, and now let's do the bottom one. Keyframe the mass path, go forward. Five frames, command, control, command or control T, and it brings up the free transform. Let's bring this up to right here. And then at this point, let's keyframe the mask expansion. It's covered up by this other mask, so I don't have to be as perfect. Go forward one, and then bring it all the way in so it's completely gone. This is at negative 400 pixels, that's plenty. And at this point, we want to keyframe both these masks at the same time. So keyframe the mask path on both the text masks. And then Command T on both of them. And we can move that in. So let's take all these keyframes and just easy ease them. So right click keyframe assistant, easy ease. And let's take a look at this. Uh, before I do, uh, let's bring that opacity back up. Again, this was a fairly simple um, look to do, but you know, sometimes you need a little reminder about things like this. Another thing we can do is add some motion blur to this. It wasn't in the trailer, but I always like a little bit of motion blur. And there we have a fun kind of text reveal. Again, suitable for movie trailers like in the intern trailer or for any sort of motion typography. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below. Hopefully you learned something new um, about masks. Uh, I did a lot of masks with this. And um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.